Hey boys and girls, Jess here, welcome back to the court. Well, it finally happened. More than 250 videos, most of them LPs on my channel, and it finally happened. A recording I did for Saints Row the Third yesterday, uh, well, broke. So you may have noticed that you didn't get a Saints Row the Third yesterday, last night, and you won't be getting the customary second one that I've been doing today either. That's because unfortunately the recording didn't record, or more accurately the file that ended up coming out of my uh, screen capture program wasn't complete. And when I say wasn't complete, I'm basing that on literally the fact that the file won't open. It exists, but it won't open. My editing software claims there's no codec. And indeed, further investigation of the file reveals that there is no uh, recording length, uh, no start finish time, all that kind of good stuff, no data file size. My only conclusion is that for whatever reason, the screen capture recording uh, failed to stop recording before I shut down the program. Which it should have done because I did press the button. Pretty sure I pressed the button. Now usually this wouldn't be that big a deal, usually there'd be a way to fix it or go back, you just record again, all that kind of good stuff. But me, being the fucking person I am, yet again the clue is in the name, Jester, I don't keep backup saves. I keep the one save. So there's not even a previous save file I can go back to because I went and hadn't saved the game before I shut down the program and discovered that the recording hadn't recorded. So when we do pick Saints Row back up during the week or maybe next weekend, because I'm kind of pissed off now with that whole thing, you'll find that some of the missions are missing. Those missions in particular being going and saving Sean D from Stag because at the end of the last episode that you did see, the plan to abduct her, and then also a massive string of missions that finally finished off the loot doors, or at least up until the murder brawl mission, I did that one. So a pretty key section of the story of the game there, lost, and seriously you have no idea how pissed I am about this, but I'm trying to put a brave face on. But this is one of those kinds of things that, at least for me, completely disillusions a person to carrying on with a task. Like recently I've already been questioning whether I should bother doing LPs anymore, I only have 26 subscribers. I've been having fun with it, that's, that's like the most important thing, but you know, there comes a point where you're putting so much time into something, and it's only going so far, you know? But this is kind of like threatening to be that one final nail, or at least getting there in the coffin of me still doing LPs. No, I'm saying all this, but it's just because I'm in a bad mood. Of course I'm going to carry on doing LPs. I have far too much fun making them. I mean, if you could see the recording I'd made, you'd see that. Because it was a fucking good one. And I'm not just tooting my own horn. I will openly say I'm probably not the best LPer in the world, but good lord, I had so much fun with these missions, and they're gone! Ow. So yeah, I'm really kicking myself around about this one and complaining in general and I figured why not make it the court for today, especially because you probably want an explanation. If any of you follow me on Twitter, you've already seen that I've complained a bit and said how I'm not going to be one this week. And it really was a good one. I even had a special guest. It was the dog, but, you know, that's the one rule about YouTube, isn't it? Pet self. So yeah, I've kind of decided to work this in as the topic for the court this weekend. And I want the discussion to be about epic fails in life and your biggest ones. Now this obviously isn't the biggest fail in my lifetime. I mean, fucking annoying as it is now, it is just gaming, it is just YouTube. In my life, I have failed vastly before. <laughs> when I was at university, I was studying uh, psychology and in my final year, uh, something in my personal life went very very wrong and I let that affect my performance at university 
I was all set to get a first or at least a 2-1 and for anyone who's, anyone who's abroad and might not understand those terms that's like your best and second best marks for a degree over here. I was all set up for those top grades and then I ended up with a 2-2 which is your third best which is one rung above your worst really. Yeah it's all up here I know it all and all that kind of stuff but because of what happened I did not do as well as I should have done. So that's one epic fail. The other epic fail is the actual personal life thing that happened and I'm kind of reluctant to talk about it in detail because it's a very long time ago now and in personal life on camera you know it's a tricky thing but suffice to say it involved a certain relationship and things going a bit sour. I didn't do anything in particular wrong before anybody jumps to the conclusion that my epic fail was that I ruined the relationship through cheating or something similar. It was just one of those situations where both of you could have done more but you both failed to talk about it, all that kind of stuff, and it just sort of collapsed. And it was avoidable, you know, communication and all that kind of thing. I should have known this being a psychologist, but I didn't. So there's another epic fail I, well, I call it an epic fail in my life. But of course, boys and girls, there's very many different kinds of epic fail, and I want to know what yours are. Could be something gaming related, I mean, we're all on the internet, a lot of my viewers are LPs as well, or just people who really enjoy video games. Or it could be something in your personal life or a professional life perhaps at work or something similar, or your academic life at school. All very much count towards this conversation, and I would like to know about your experiences. So that's what this is. Not so much a discussion because I'm, as in like really deep thoughtful kind of stuff, but it's just discussion for the sake of discussion. Because why not? So yeah, boys and girls, big apologies for Saints Row not going up this weekend and that when it starts up again next weekend, because I probably am going to wait until then now because I'm pissed off with it. Big apologies that it didn't happen and you'll be missing miss missing missions. It's hard to say. But when we do pick up, we get into some really interesting stuff. You know, we've got the Legionnaires out of the way. You know, we all know what happens. It's not, a, it's not a new game. People have played it. People know it. There's plenty of LPs of it already out there, so really want to see those missions go watch somebody else play them but we do pick up we've passed all the big stuff i think there's probably one more kill bane mission i think but then it's all the stag stuff and things get really interesting and really cool there's one particular mission coming up soon that i love for what will become very obvious reasons and before we finish there i will make a quick mention of something called armada craft any fans of Captain Sparkles or Jordan Moran, and if you're a Minecraft fan you probably do know of him, even slightly. He's a big name in the uh, Minecraft LP world. He's really fantastic stuff. I'll put a link somewhere. Go check him out. Anyway, Armada Craft is his own server and also a website connected to, you know, to do with the server. All about loads of different kind of Minecraft games, like Hunger Games, and well, a bunch of other stuff. He's not confirmed what the rest of his lineup is because it's still in construction and soon to be like a, a beta phase kind of thing. But I want to mention it because I joined the website. We're ready for when it gets released, all that kind of stuff. And within 10 minutes of me putting an instruction post up on a thread on their forums there, I had several replies. It's a fantastic community. Just that kind of quick response and really friendly people, very interested in who you are and what you do, all that kind of thing. It was great. So if you are a Minecraft player and you're interested in playing games like that with people, I very much suggest going over there, checking it out. If you sign up this soon, you'll be on the shortlist to very much possibly be getting into the testing phase before it all goes official and there's various perks and all that kind of thing to doing that. So go for it if you want to, why not? Now this is kind of a bit of a random lacklustre kind of court this weekend. I'm sorry, but I'm just really sort of pissed off and I'm, I'm bringing angry energy and I don't want that to be who I am on the internet even if it is entertaining so I'm gonna call it here boys and girls don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more seriously it was such a good episode <laughs> and while you're at it why don't you go over and check out jessicaceptions.blogspot.co.uk for all the narrative goodness I put out on a Wednesday and a Sunday Wednesday being the blaze Superhero-ish story, short read each week. It's it's good. It, I like it. Well, of course I like it. I fucking write it. I love it. And on a Sunday, it's the hunters. Longer, darker, more serious, demony, supernatural kind of stuff. 
So you got a good right. Well, it's not really a good right, but I like it. <laughs> and like I keep saying, yes, there is going to be content appearing on this channel. At some point, that has more to do with writing, less to do with just gaming. But like I keep saying, I'm also waiting for a new camera on that, but money, opportunity, all that kind of thing. This is the world. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. This has been a really weird court. I'll see you next week for another one. It's probably just going to keep getting weirder at this point. Bye! <laughs>